everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, a warm welcome to you too. So today let's check in with the universe and see what we need to hear today. Now keep in mind that this is a timeless general reading, so it's important to allow the message to resonate as it's meant to. Also keep in mind that this energy could be from the past, the present, or something yet to come. Let it fit how it's meant to. All right, let's dive in and see what the universe wants to share with us today. Universe, what do you want to talk about today? What do we need to know? Ooh, justice opens the reading, so you are getting justice. Justice for what? The Seven of Swords. Ooh, backstabbing, thievery, somebody did you dirty. Queen of Wands, this is you standing in your power saying, no, no, no more of this. Three of Wands, moving forward after the storm. Wow, this is very interesting. All right, so let's get the Oracle cards and I'll put those down and we will look at them later after we go through the tarot. But it looks like you are definitely getting justice. Wow, and I mean confirmation with the Seven of Swords right after justice, like, oh my goodness. Um, so we've got Libra. I see a lot of air energy. So Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and then we've got two wands. So we've got Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius as well. Um, Libra season, I keep hearing Libra season. So there's something in Libra season that's going to matter. It could be your birthday, their birthday, could be happening in Libra season. Again, this is a timeless message, so take it as it resonates. Um, but take a look at these cards with me. I want you to see them up close. So you've got justice for whatever that seven of swords is, whoever that is, whatever they did, you're getting justice, baby, because yeah, you've, you're standing back up with the queen of wands. Now again, in tarot, the way I see this is it's not about gender. It's about embodying that energy. And so the queen of wands, she's no nonsense. She's fierce. And look at her. You ain't gonna play with her. And that's what this is saying. Nobody's gonna play with you. You see what they did and so does karma and so does the universe. And then you have the three of wands. I mean, looking out, you know, really taking in the vastness that's coming toward you after the storm you've been through. That's what I'm seeing here. So with justice open in the reading, I mean, this isn't any justice, right? This is not small, piddly things. This is the way I see this, that image, that's karma. This is like karma walking in, you know, look at her. She's got her hand on her hip. She's holding those scales in balance. She's not even messing with that sword. She doesn't need to. This is karma, confident, coming in saying, you know what? I'm ready to fix the mess someone made in your life. I mean, just look at her. I mean, she's not worried. She's not playing. This is like, this is such fierce energy in the most calm, collected kind of way. I mean, yeah, just look at her. She's not reaching for her sword because she doesn't need to. It's like karma knows exactly how this is going to play out the way this is coming through in the energy. It's like, um, the way I see this, it's like she's standing there saying, no worries, babe, I got this. And that's what she's saying to you. Karma is saying, no worries, <laughs> I got this. I mean, that's sassy the way she's got her hand on her hip, like, oh, you think you're gonna play my person, do you? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, <laughs> that's the way this is coming through. It's like, um, I'm here. <laughs> wow. It's like really sassy, really like, uh, um, I heard that fool better recognize. <laughs> so yeah, that fool, whoever the seven of swords is better 
recognize because that's what I'm seeing here. Somebody wronged you like big time, however that applies. Like I am seeing this in so many ways. It's like a storm. You know, they like lied. Yeah, they like lied to you. They, the way this is coming through, they betrayed you. They cheated on you. They took advantage of your kindness. They stole from you. Oh my goodness. Or all of the above, like all of it. They did all of it. Ooh, oh my goodness. And the way this is coming through, I mean, look at the seven of swords. It speaks volumes, just the imagery alone. You know, they thought they could get away with it. They really did. They really thought they could get away with it. But karma, aka justice here, is saying directly, oh no, we're not doing that today. We're about to fix these wrongs. And that's exactly what's happening. So if you've been, you know, waiting for your moment of balance for things to swing back in your favor, this is it. This card coming through is saying, karma has seen everything everything and that person who thought they could slip by without the consequences of their actions well guess what tick tock tick tock their time is up oh yes it is claim it feel it know it say it their time is up yes it is and karma's like oh yeah don't you worry it's all good in the neighborhood. Don't even stress. I'm handling it. That's what that justice card is saying to you directly. I'm hearing it's either, it's kind of faint. It's either Demarion or Omarion. Um, so that's going to be a confirmation for someone. Sounds like a first name. Could be somebody's name. It sounds like Demarion, Demarion or Omarion. I can't tell, but it's going to be something to that effect. So whoever that's for, that's going to be confirmation for you. So let's go into uh, talking about this Seven of Swords. When this card shows up, whoo, it's screaming deception. This is not small. This is not, you know, like your piddly little embellishment or little white lie. No, this is big time deception i mean look at this this look at this i mean it shows you exactly what's going on the person in the card is sneaking away with those swords thinking there's some sort of you know mastermind and they got away with some great heist however this applies to your situation that's basically the energy that's coming through so this is a person who thought they could pull a fast one on you you know they um, the way I see this, it's like they lied, maybe even stole something from you. I see like intimidation tactics. What? Yeah, there's a lot here. They like, they definitely did you dirty. There's betrayal. They, they, like, and the way this is coming through, it's almost like they're bragging or they're telling somebody like, ha. I got away with it. Huh. I got one over on them. Ha. Huh. They were too dumb to realize what I was doing. Whatever it is, it's almost like they're bragging, like they're boasting. There's like, ha, huh, I got one over on this person. But they're, they messed up. Like they're putting it out there into the energy. And it's like karma's just sitting there looking at this. And it's like a bill that's growing. It's like a snowball effect. It's just growing the way this is being shown to me. And yeah, they think they got away with it in the 3d right but but we're all being watched by the universe the universe is always watching so however it applies they might have gotten away with this in some way in the short term right so temporarily it might appear they're winning they might be winning right and you might be like i cannot believe this is happening to me i can't believe they're getting away with this but but in the grand scheme of things no 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 it's an illusion because karma is already on their trail like the seven of swords coming through is your confirmation that justice is going to be served for that deed whatever that dastardly deed is that was done to you Justice is going to be served on that directly. This is your confirmation. Whoever did you dirty, oh no. 
The universe is weighing their actions. And those scales, <laughs> the way this is coming through, they're about to slam down, like slam down and then rise back up in your favor. This person's sneakiness, whatever it is, is catching up to them. Somebody's gonna go to prison. I'm seeing a judge. Yeah, somebody, somebody's going to prison for something that they did. There's no hiding from whatever this is. I'm seeing money stolen. I'm hearing it now. Money was stolen, money was stolen, money was stolen. This was thousands of dollars, the way I am seeing this. So if that's for you, this is a confirmation. You're about to get justice. Somebody's going to prison. I don't know if those two things are connected, but they're coming in together. So they might be. Definitely take it if it's a confirmation for you. But the way I see this, karma is knocking at their door. The way it's coming through, it's like this is not going to be pretty for them. So if they did you dirty and you've been hoping for justice, it's here, it's coming, it's near. So get ready, because you're about to get justice for what they did to you. And now let's take a look at the Queen of Wands, because that's you. Again, this is not about gender, this is about energy, right? The Queen of Wands is no nonsense. I mean, take a look at her. That's you standing in your power. You know, she's there holding her wand with authority, standing in her full fiery energy. And you know what she is saying? I'm not waiting for permission to shine. I am the light. I am strength. I am fully authentic. I am me. This card has shown up because you have been through it, right? You have been through the fire. People have tried to knock you down. Maybe you've even, you know, had moments of questioning your own worth because of them. But here you are in this energy. And that's what the Queen of Wands is saying. You, through all of this betrayal, all of this pain, are standing stronger than ever. No Fs given is what I am hearing. That is you. You are powerful. You've transformed every challenge into fuel and that fuel is for your fire you know this queen coming out is about reclaiming your power stepping into your confidence and not letting anyone dim your light again whatever this person did to you they changed your life but the universe is reminding you through this card you were changed but you're stronger for it. You are a force of nature. Claim it. Say it. Own it. Feel it. Say, yes, I am. Nobody's going to mess with you. You survived the storm. You turned that fire into power. You've got the power to manifest, to transform, and to inspire. That's what this queen is telling you. The struggles you have been through, <laughs> You've overcome them, and now you're in a position where nothing and no one can stop you. That's you, standing there, strong. You don't need anyone's approval to be powerful. You just are, and that's why she is here in this reading, to show you, to show you who you are, no matter the storm you endure. I'm hearing angel number. I'm not hearing a number, though. I'm hearing it again, angel number. I don't hear a number. Um, 229, okay, I'm hearing 229. Angel number, 229. Okay, wow, I'm getting chills. Um, if that resonates, when I say angel number 229, definitely go check that out because I feel like there is going to be a direct message for someone there, wow. Like this is kind of taking my breath away. Whew. Angel number 229, definitely go look that up because there is going to be a very important message there for someone. So don't miss out on that because wow, yeah, it feels important. Like it's like this push. I'm hearing it again. Angel number 229, there's going to be quite a few of you that need that message. So now let's talk about the Three of Wands because this is where things get really interesting. The person on this card is you. 
sitting on that tree branch there, you know, their back, your back, is to those three wands hanging beside them. And you're looking out at the sea. And if you notice, there's a ship in the distance. This is your what now moment, right? You've been through the fire. You've, um, you know, faced the challenges. And now that's the progression. That's what the universe is saying. This is where it's going. Now you're looking out at the horizon ready for what's next. And that ship that you see, that's the future. And it's all about limitless, endless possibilities and new adventures that are going to be waiting for you on the other side of this. Like the way I see this card, it's like telling you directly that you're no longer tied to the past. You know, sure, as you see there, there are three wands hanging from the tree, you know, and that might represent choices or paths that you've been considering or that you once dealt with, right? However it applies. But what that's saying is, you know, the world is opening up for you, but you need to make the decision, right? You're sitting there thinking about it, reflecting. This is all about expansion. And the question is, will you stay where you are there on your tree branch? You know this area. It's your comfort zone. You know what to expect. Or will you get on that ship? And will you set sail towards something bigger, better, new, however it applies? And the universe is saying to you directly, the future is wide open. You know, you've got the power to choose. So what do you choose? What do you want? You know, you've endured. Now what do you want? You've survived. Now it's time to thrive. You know, it's time to trust, you know, that what's coming is better than what you left behind. I really feel like the end, like there's just endless possibilities in front of you, but the choice is ultimately yours. And so that's what the universe is saying to you. What do you choose? What do you choose? All right, so now we go to see what's in these oracle cards because of the tarot. Oh my goodness. So let's turn these oracle cards over to see what else we need to know or what else is coming. Oh, wow. Will with the number 13. Oh, that is a stunning card. Oh, look at this. Inspiration. That is you. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So it's your will. I see the moon phases with the number 13. That's you glowing in the energy of inspiration, the light rising up within you. This is a rebirth. This is a renewal. Wow. So take a look at all of the cards together so you can really take it in because it's a beautiful picture here that we are looking at. So with Will, I mean, look at this. I mean, the imagery is just stunning. You know, this woman is wearing a beautiful cosmic dress, literally embodying the universe. I mean, isn't that stunning? With the moon phases all around here, talking about how life moves in cycles and phases. And then we also have the number 13 here. Um, and in numerology, it's all about transformation and rebirth through challenges, which is exactly what we've been talking about this entire time. Wow. Um, so yeah, yeah, like this card is telling you that your willpower is everything right now. The universe is basically the way this is coming through, like um, the universe is literally woven into the fabric of this dress. So that is saying, you know, it's reminding you that you have the power to create your reality. So what do you want, right? What do you want? You've survived the storm. Now you see the rainbow and at the end of the rainbow, what do you get? Your pot of gold. That's where we're at. So what do you want? This is a reward for surviving what you've been put through. This is a reward. You know, what do you want? What are you willing, basically? What are you willing into existence? What do you want? You know, in the moon phases, you know, show us that everything moves through these cycles. And right now, 
what I am seeing this represent is a phase of manifestation. You, oh wow, this energy. You have literally moved into a phase of manifestation. This card is asking you to claim it, to claim it, to will it, right? Say it with me, really. Say it with me or think it, you know, say, what I want is mine. What I want is mine. Feel it. Feel it deep within your soul. You deserve it. And that's what the universe is saying, being part of that dress, right? That the universe is always with you. The universe always has your back, right? But you have to decide what you want. And that's the question. That's the question in front of you. The universe is sitting here, you know, saying, what do you want? Because basically with will here right in front of you, your will is your magic, right? So, so it's clear. The universe is saying, focus, focus now, set your intentions, really focus and set your intentions and watch how quickly things come together. That's what's in front of you now. You went through hell and back. They put you through a whole bunch of mess and now they're paying the ultimate price for it while you rise, while you rise because they tried to destroy you. But instead, you know, instead of the fire burning you to smithereens, it burned away everything that did not serve you and allowed you to rise as the phoenix. And that's where you're at. Anything you want, if you will it, you'll have it. So what do you want? I'm hearing, oh, uh, that's unusual. I'm hearing Ducky, Duck E, Ducky. Um, might be a nickname, Ducky. Could be a little, I'm seeing a little rubber Ducky. Ducky, I don't know. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is a nickname, whatever it is. Um, it's gonna be a confirmation for someone. I am seeing the movie, The Land Before Time in my mind. And I just heard, that's my favorite movie. So someone's favorite movie is The Land Before Time and there is a ducky in that movie. Maybe you love dinosaurs. I don't know. This is all coming through. It's very unusual. Um, there's something about ducky, the, <laughs> the movie The Land Before Time, and dinosaurs. Maybe you play video games, dinosaur video games, like Ark Survival Evolved or Ark Survival Ascended. I'm not sure. There's something here about dinosaurs, and that's gonna be a confirmation for someone. And then look at the last card. I mean, this is beautiful. Talk about a great way to end the reading, right? This card is pure light, feel it. Pure energy, I mean, really, feel it, it's beautiful. The figure here, which is you, is glowing, literally glowing. You're literally radiating with cosmic energy. Look at the will card. The universe is woven into you. It's incredible. Like, I, I just, uh, really take in this card, right? You've been through the dark. Look at everything around that image. Black darkness, right? You've faced the shadows. Look at that card. Oh my goodness, this, I, I feel this fire rising up. Wow, it's like you're stepping into the light. You've survived the storm. You've survived the darkness. You are the star in the night. You know, this card is here to remind you that you are an inspiration. You have risen from hell and you rose and you dusted yourself off. That's you, your story, your journey, whatever this is, it's powerful. And the universe wants you to know that you deserve everything coming toward you. The universe wants you to know that your light is contagious. You've overcome so much, so much through this. And now it's time to let your glow just rise. This is your awakening. This is literally your awakening. Everything you've been through has led you to this moment. And now is your time to fully step into your power, to embody your full strength. You are exactly where you need to be, shining brighter than ever. So karma is coming. Karma is stepping in and the scales are going to be balanced. Whoever wronged you 
It's going to be righted and they are going to face their reckoning. Your future is wide open. Look at that three of wands. The universe is saying to you directly, decide what you want and it's yours. So that's all I got for you today, my amazing celestial tribe. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me for this reading. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, join the channel, and don't forget to share this reading with your friends. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future readings. Stay blessed, stay fierce, and I can't wait to see you in the next reading.